everyone welcome back to leisure suit larry 2 now we are uh, just got off the ship and we are now stuck on the beach all right so let's have a look you're on the hotel oh, sorry you're on the beach of a beautiful resort hotel a tropical paradise for the rich and famous in the distance you see people enjoying water sports of all kinds okay let's look Umbrella. Looks as though they're all unoccupied. Okay, nothing to see there. Alright, let's go to the left here. Ooh, hello. Let's look. Say, these people have no clothes on. What kind of place is this anyway? Alright. Isn't polyester comfortable? Was that naked woman talking to you? Okay, let's talk. Oop. Talk woman. Hiya, baby. You tell her, my name's Larry. Larry Laffer. Are you, are you new around here, good looking? Was that naked woman talking to you? Well, let's look woman. Suddenly, you start to perspire. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, I find clothed men so appealing. Was that naked woman talking to you? Okay, yeah, obvious trap here. So, yeah, if we go back with her, then, yeah, she'll, um, take her to that hideout or whatever it was, and, yeah, we'll die. We've already seen that scene, though. And, oh, hello. Two men dressed in sunnies, a hat, and a trench coat on the beach. I'm sure... Yeah, I'm sure. KGB, surely. Yep. I have him, cries the agent. We caught you, you shall capture this burglar city of the evil empire, shouts the KGB agent, looking all ill at ease in his ill-fitted trench coat and oversized speedo. The KGB have recognised you, captured you in your town and your local, local headquarters for questioning. And other fun stuff. Yeah, 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 we've seen that scene. Okay, so what we need to do... We need to go to the south. Oh, uh, and yeah, we can't control Larry here. He's just going to walk through the jungle. And when we stop here, see these flowers here? We have to get flowers. You reach over and break off the beautiful flower at base. Oh, you rationalize. They'll never miss just one flower. And that part... Yeah, I think it's the only part you can actually control, Larry, or actually do anything. Oh, wait, no. Can we exit? The hell you say? Okay. Leave. The hell you say? I thought if I typed exit, we can, yeah, not have to sit through this scene here. Ooh, peacock. Oop. Oh. Oh. KGB. <sighs> At last you find an exit. Who, where does it lead? Why, you found a lovely restaurant. Ooh. Empty, too. Talk man. Uh, excuse me, sir, you say hesitantly. I was wondering if I might get a bite to eat. The man D slowly diverts his gaze towards you. Your name, please? He asks. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. Well, I suppose I could find you a place for you on our busy schedule, he replies disdainfully. Just have a seat here in the chair while I wait, prepare a table for you. Okay. Whoop, no, 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 no! Oh. Ah, suit. Leave. Ah, freaking hell. <laughs> Gotta watch this again. So 
so, so annoying. Come on, Allo, did you really think this is a good idea? Pretty sure we have to sit through this scene, yeah, a couple more times. Yeah, yep, we get it. At last, you find an exit. But where does it lead? Why, you found an empty guest room. Okay. Let's have a look. This room is considerably larger than your stateroom on board the cruise ship. It has a picture window overlooking the beach. There's a restroom plus a dressing area near the picture window. There is a book of complimentary matches lying on the nightstand near the bed. Okay, we'll need that then. Get matches. What? Oh, hello. Good morning, sir. I'm your customer service representative in the charge of horizontal surface consistency and custodial maintenance. I trust you are finding everything satisfactory, she asks. She says she's the maid. Uh, this sounds like a trap. Okay. Yes. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's restore. Let's see. No. No, everything is not okay, you tell the maid. Well, sir, perhaps you'd like something that is not on the room service menu. She asks with a smile. Okay, oop. Hey. Right, let's try that again. No. Uh, screw made. Okay. Oh, sir, she smiles demurely. I would just love Americano men. They are so, I would say, financial. Well, come on, big boy. What are you waiting for? Don't you want to have a nice day? Okay, I'm ready, she says with a smile. How about you? Yes. Screw made. Okay, I'm... Oh, maybe I have to get on bed. Yeah! Gee, you tell her, is this room service or what? Oh, oh, Jesus. Yes. Uh, while you're indisposed, though, through your doorway marches the maid's older brother, Carlos. Thanks to US foreign aid, Carlos has many extra bullets that he enjoys firing for amusement. Sister Maria, how many times I gotta tell you, lay off the white meat. Oh, uh, shit. Bad choice, Larry. Remember, there's no such thing as a free lunch. It wasn't KGB. Okay. Then let's just wait for it to leave. Okay, says so the native lady, made, uh, made, native maid coily. Have a nice day. Okay, let's get. Get matches. Okay. You slip a book of matches into your pocket. Gee, Larry. At least last you found your match. <laughs> Drum fill. And look. Bathroom. The toilet is in the south wall of the bathroom. Get soap. You're not close enough. Well, I'm standing right next to the sink. Okay. You grab a bowl full of <coughs> tiny bars of soap and dump it into your pockets, thinking, when I get home, can carefully wet these and glue them all to make them one least, at least one regular size bar. What a great deal. You have always been terminally cheap. Alright, let's, uh, I think that's all we need from here for now. Let's exit. 
Uh, I swear I read somewhere that typing exit works and you can skip this cutscene, but I guess not. And we are a kumquat. <coughs> yep. Where's the peacock? There it is. Get feather. Oh wait, no, wrong game. It's not King's Quest 4. And at last you find an exit. Hey, not even a KGB exit. Um, Why well, you found the results barbershop? Oh. Let's see. Anything you do for my receding hairline, you ask the barber? But of course, mister, says the barber. I got just so what you need. Just have a seat in the chair, please. For you at the day, uh, I got a special deal, he begins. I'm uh, gonna try and summon my oxidol. Don't you mean mini oxidol? You ask. No, he says. I don't know what uh, that is. I'm uh, gonna ignore by your head in some of this liquid laundry detergent. Too late to leave now, Larry. He's got you. There, all set, you says the barber. Now let's uh, just uh, get the second uh, to work. How ridiculous, you think. I just let some guy I don't even know pour laundry detergent on my head. Wow, you exclaim. Not only does this stuff really work, it's fast too. I knew you'd be that, I know you'd be that delighted, says the barber. Come uh, back and uh, see me anytime, my blondie. Why did you call me that? You ask. Oh, no reason, he says. <laughs> oh, great, he cry. Now what am I supposed to do? Have a more fun, he answers. Well, at least my bald spot's gone, you say. Along with your self-respect, says the barber. Have a nice day. No. Okay, clearly that's not gonna work. Though I don't think the wait was as long last time. Say, you're getting faster at this, thank god. And we're back at the beach. Okay, so let's save game here. And let's see if we can get past the KGB agents. See if they recognize us. I have him, cries the agent. If he caught you, you capitalist slime sucking pig, says the, shouts the KGB agent. We will make you the best looking fashion model in all USSR. How did you know it was me? you ask. Only in Russia do women wear leisure suits to beach, he replies. <laughs> okay, let's restore. Okay, so what we have to do, we have to go back into the jungle. And I'm not even going to bother trying to uh, exit. Because it's not going to work. And it shouldn't take as long, at least. Yeah. We're getting faster at this. And we're at the restaurant again. Alright, let's try this again. Talk man. Oh no. Alright, I have completely screwed up. Okay, so I'm back at the restaurant, so yeah, didn't realise that we only had one chance to do this, so, and I went off screen like an idiot, and I need to sit. Why, Mr. and Mrs. Rich, says the maitre d', what a pleasure to have you again. Of course I have a table for you. Please, walk this way. Well, that was certainly rude. You were here before them. You feel yourself becoming protubed. I hope you find this satisfactory, sir, grovels the maitre d' with his palm extended.
Why, Mr. and Mrs. Famous, he says to Maitre D. Well, what a pleasure it is to see you again. Of course, I have a table for you. Please, walk this way. Well, that was certainly rude. You were here before them. You feel yourself becoming annoyed. I hope you find this satisfactory, sir, grovels the Mr. D. <laughs> Why, Mr. and Mrs. Gates, says the Mr. D. What a pleasure it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Please, walk this way. Hope everything is satisfactory. Yeah. There are only two more tables to go. Mm -hmm. Who is it this time? Why, Mr. Leach. Yeah. Don't know who that is. Please, walk this way. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hope you find this satisfactory. So, one more. Sure, it's good. Why, Mr. and Mrs. Williams, says Aha. Uh -huh. Guessing that's uh, Roberta Williams. And Ken Williams, I think. Hope you find this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, sir, the Meta D says, begrudgingly. I'll show you to your table now. Sure, there are no tables left. Please, walk this way. Think to yourself, if I walked that way, I'd use talcum powder. Oh boy, says Meta D sharply, cupping his hand. Please, set up a table for Mr. Laffer. Be seated, Mr. Laffer, says the Meta D as he escapes the kitchen. You're free to help yourself to our appetizer bar. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Have a nice day. Choice location, Larry. Alright, so let's, I'm going to save here. Maybe I should have used a new one. Oh, okay. Doesn't matter. All right, let's go eat. What's this? Look, expensive linen, crystal, and silver way down the tables. An appetizer buffet fills one corner. Eat. Once you taste it, you wouldn't want it anymore. Look, buffet. Why? Well, look, there's a knife used next to the cheese plate. Ooh. Get knife. Oop, knife. Knife. The mayor of tea did say to help yourself to the buffet, but this is rather borderline behaviour, Larry. Okay. You supposedly slip the slicer from the serving surface and sequester it in your suit. Alright. Now let's eat some cheese. You glomp a cracker full of brie and slip it into your mouth. You never liked brie. Okay, so let's see what happens. Gonna save now. I think that's all we need from here. Let's sit. You're not close enough. I'm standing right next to the chair. Ah, oh, please. No, oh, okay. I didn't realize I could move in there. All right, okay. Let's eat. Once you taste it, you won't. Mm. Eat food. Um, yummy. Bad idea, Larry. For a while, you're afraid you are going to die. Then you're afraid you're not going to die. Your last thoughts are, maybe it was something I ate. What? What was, what, what was it that we ate? What happened? I don't know. But anyway, let's leave. So, yeah. That's what we needed to get from there. So, I'm just going to pause. Okay. Um, one other thing I realized that I missed is we actually need to walk left here. And hey, that naked woman's gone and she's left behind something. Look, rock. The effect of joining the beautiful people. There's a discarded bikini bottom. Get bottom. Looks a little small for you, but what the heck? 
All right, so we are now a jerk. So let's go back and we can go back into the jungle. And the same won't last that long. Not as long as last time. So, hey, you're getting faster at this. And I don't think we need anything else. We got the knife, didn't we? Yep, we got the knife. Okay. Let's get out of here. Hey, 205 out of 500. So we're not even halfway there. Not even halfway through the game yet. Oh boy, what else do we have here? So you're getting faster at this. All right, so they're gonna the KGB are gonna recognise us if we're in our suits. So we have the bikini bottom, and we have the bikini top now. Actually, we do have the bikini top, don't we? Yep. All right. So if we go wear bikini, have you no modesty? At least move to the dressing area behind the restroom. Okay. Wear bikini. Okay. Boy, do you look sweet. Alright, and what we have to do is fill bikini with soap. The hell you say? What? Put soap in bikini? It's not yours to drop. What? Wear suit. What? What the hell not? Say, you're getting faster at this. Alright. Let's sit again. Is there anything you can do about my excess body hair, says the barber. But of course, mister, says the barber. I just got what you need. Just to have a seat in the chair, please. For you today, only, I got a special deal, he begins. Somehow, I wonder, you reply. No, this says this will work real good. What are you going to do to me this time? Body waxing! Once again, he's got you wrapped in the chair. You hope this time it will turn out better. <laughs> jeez. Ooh, jeez, that's a lot of wax. Dear, all is set, says the barber. Now just to lay here and get to the... Let it get to heart. How could I be so stupid, you think? I have wax hardening all over my naked body. Yeah! Oh God, you cry. Was it good for you? I don't think it could be good for anybody, he answers. Well, perhaps the pain was worth it. I do like this clean-shaven look, you tell him. You're the only one, concludes the barber. Have a nice day. Right, let's go. Through the jungle again. Then we should be back to the beach. Son of a beach. Or is that in the next game? I can't remember. Say, so, you're getting faster at this. Alright, back to the beach now. Surely, they won't recognize us now. Alright. Ah! Oh, I have him, cries the agent. If he caught you, the pawn of Frost or whatever, screams the poorly disguised KGB agent. How did you know it was me, you asked. Only in Russia do women have such flat chests. Okay, yeah, so that's why we needed to put the soap in the bikini top. <sighs> 
Okay, now we're back at the beach and we have managed to fill our top with soap. <sighs> the problem I was having was, you know, instead of, you know, put soap in top, you had to write stuff soap in top. Ah, <sighs> frustrating. But look at us now. We're so pretty. You know, the soap, you know, we've got boobies now, so surely we get past the KGB agents now, don't we? Whoa, oh, hello, baby, cries the KGB agent. Oh, honey, I think I loves you. What happened to his accent? All right, we passed it. You did it. You made it past the, K the beach without getting caught by the KGB agents. What lies ahead now? Oh, crap. Oh, my gosh. How will the guy as clumsy as you are ever manage to hike a, trial, a trail as narrow as this? Okay, so we've passed the KGB agents, we've passed like the resort. Yeah, now we've got to get past this cliff and we'll do this in the next one. But thanks a lot, see ya.